Hi, welcome to the Mike Alert for Monday the 9th of January 2017. So, we didn't get there. I sent a note out, as you know, uh, saying that we were heading in that direction and the theory that I'd heard about it not being hit till Trump was inaugurated looked like it was going to fall uh, flat on its face. But uh, we got close, uh, 19,999.63. You really couldn't make this stuff up if you tried. You, you Honestly, you really couldn't. I've seen pre-market sessions where the markets moved 300 points, and yet we couldn't move just that uh, few points to actually get to the 20,000. It was just not possible just to move it. Uh, enough just to get to that uh, record so let's see what uh, Monday brings uh, amazing really that uh, the market couldn't do it will it do it it will at some point but uh, it's it's certainly fascinating to see it as if we've got an inverse plunge protection team working now to stop the market getting to this figure because really there's no reason when you get to 19,999 you can't just move it that one point. I mean, it doesn't take an awful lot of shares to trade to actually push it to the figure. So it is bizarre. It really is something else. So yesterday we saw the market put in the buy signal and then move higher. And uh, I trailed the market up. You can see all of this. I can just reverse it so you can see and just fast forward through. And then as the market got back up to the high of 19,907, it was a case of moving stops. And I moved the stop just to, to below the low of the bar that uh, traded up to the 19,900 level. And then uh, eventually the market uh, worked its way back. And uh, you'll see prices uh, being taken out as well. Just uh, fast forward for you here. So you can see this, we then moved higher and then sideways again. And let me just bring that back there and then show you here. You can see how it came back and then took the trade out. And then I just cleared the decks and then sent a note out. And then of course, uh, later on, if we fast forward, you can see the market there coming back to the all time high going through this 19,990. And uh, I thought, right, we're off, we're going to do it. I even marked up 76% retracements and then we came back again and again and then we went in towards the evening and we came back for a third attempt and uh, the market uh, failed to do it and there you can see the market just failing to get to the 20,000 I now mean, it's just uh, unbelievable how uh, the market uh, failed to do this when it was so close but there you go not to be so uh, on Friday so let's see what happens during Monday let's just change the all-time high now to this bar and uh, remove this one here we're through the 76% retracement at last and uh, that's where we are now 19,990 uh, 19, 19,996 it's actually uh, um, as we saw earlier 19,900 Point six three is the all-time high now for this market. Again, up on fresh air on Friday as well. Let's see uh, what news we've got out uh, on Monday. Not actually looked yet. Um, so on Monday, what have we got? Uh, only the Halifax uh, House Price Index. That's out early in the morning. Nothing in the afternoon. So again, let's see what the market does. Not a lot on Tuesday either. Wednesday, crude oil inventories are back to normal. And uh, Thursday, ECB policy accounts, uh, FOMC. Uh, Yellen speaking on Friday. So if we don't do it this Friday, will we do it uh, this next Friday? Who knows? But also, let's see what the market does on the overnight session with uh, regards to uh, the, the Dow opening. Also, I don't know whether you noticed, but the... Uh, non-farm payroll figures were worse than expected the market goes up crude oil figures were worse than expected which should be bullish for the market and the market goes down so uh, again very strange things happening in this market at the moment and then finally implied volatility down from 10.35 to 10.20 and again you can see that in the chart there so even though the implied volatility dropped as well it wasn't enough to actually move the market back to the all-time high and record high that is 
Right, that's it uh, for today. I will uh, see you in uh, Tuesdays. I'll report in, obviously, in Monday's uh, uh, session. As and when, uh, let's see if the market can hit that 20,000 then. If not, uh, then at the moment, uh, my theory that the market is likely to stay below the 20,000 until Trump, or just a few days before he's inaugurated, will remain but it became very very close to actually doing it but it uh, didn't happen and you'd think really they would want to do this on Friday to go into the weekend but uh, not at all right that's it uh, see you in uh, Tuesday's uh, market alert as ever thanks uh, for your support and also for watching see you in the next one